There you go. We're live. Oh, wow. Hey, welcome to uh, Zeal Daddy Gaming. I'm uh, going to be your host today, Tempest Murphy. And today we are going to be playing Istanbul. Istanbul is going to be a fine German action selection economic board game where we are going to be hunting for gems. Gems can be found at several different locations. They can be found at the small mosque, the large mosque, the Sultan's Palace, the Gemstone Dealer, and also the Wainwright by completing the tasks that are there. Uh, on our turn, we're going to be taking our stack of assistants and moving them orthogonally two spaces to be able to action select a tile. On each of the tiles, we have an action that we can do to help us on our task in collecting gems. The places that we can visit are going to be the warehouses, where we can get the green resource, the red resource, the yellow resource. We can also get the blue resource here at the black market. Other places that we can visit include the tea house, where we can gamble and get money. We can also go to the post office here, where we can get a variety of different things. We can go to the caravansary and get bonus cards to help us on our way. We can sell goods here at the small market or the large market to get more money. We can complete our cart here at the Wainwright. And we can also recall all of our assistants by going to the fountain. Recalling is very important because we have to have an assistant to do the job. The merchant themselves do no work. They're middle management, man. Mm. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to remind them how, how they can find your YouTube channel. It's Babes and Board Games. You, you do a search on YouTube, it'll be the first thing that shows up, and you'll know because there'll be a babe there in the circle. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, also, we're playing four games today, right? This is the first game. Istanbul's the first one. We're also going to play Wingspan. There's no particular order to them yet, although we are going to end each stream after each game and then we'll restart. So if you want to watch multiple streams, when we come out, we'll jump back in a few minutes later, probably take a five or ten minute break, and we'll come back in. We're then going to play, I don't want to say then because I don't know the order yet, Kemet, which sounds like an amazing game. I've never played it. Village, which I have played, and then this one, Istanbul. If there's time later on and we're all feeling up to it, we may play one other game, which... I'm considering Euphrates and or Euphrates and Tigris, which is an older, older school German board game. Um, also, as part of Zeal's Addy, uh, we stream uh, role playing games on Sundays. I'll be streaming my Crosscodes as for Genesis game tomorrow, which is a D and D five E sci fi variant. And then my partner in Zeal's Addy, Cliff Dunn, will be running Zealots of Zul at six o'clock. That is sword, sword, sword and sorcery uh, D and D five E low magic. High death, um, you probably don't know about high, that anyway. high terror. <laughs> high terror, yes. Uh, Bunch we're, of death. We're at the Adventure... Just none of us yet. The Adventure Game Society Board Game Cafe, which is about to open soon. They're very close to having their food service and all that running, which is really exciting. And it's part of the Adventure Game Store in Dragon's Lair, which is right next door and is owned by the same people, who are amazing people, by the way. Get in on the ground floor, people. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to follow us. Here, it's very simple. It's Zeal's Addy, you're already here, so no big deal. On YouTube, uh, if you go down, scroll down in the doobly-doo in, in, in Twitch, you'll see our YouTube link. We also are on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. That's how you find out when we're about to stream or what we're going to be streaming. And then uh, give us a, a follow on Patreon if you want. You can support us there. Small amounts, $2 up, what have you. And we're trying to do a lot more streaming, bigger games, more complicated games. And what we're trying to do is create a, a, an environment of, of play and fun. We love tabletop games, which is why we have our moniker, Tabletop Games Love. So before we get started, I mean, you've already introduced yourself, Tom. I've introduced myself. I'm Scott Coventry, one of Zeal's Daddy. So we'll let you take it, Kyle. Hi, I'm Kyle Jablonski. You may, if you've tuned in before, you may know me. Oh, as... I'm going to go to another camera so they can see you. That was all of us. Just what I wanted. The, you may know me from uh, some of the other games. I'm in uh, Scott's game, Crosscodes, as uh, 1479 Soren, and in Cliff's game as Ibn al Ur Capri. And I'm uh, looking forward to doing some, some uh, board gaming. 
So I've not played this game. The two of them have played it many times. I just got the simple explanation before the stream started. So I will be like you. I'll be the novice if you're assuming you're a novice. You may not be a novice out there. So, but Tom is the master of board games. He's played probably every board game I've ever mentioned just about. He knows the rules inside and out. It's, <laughs> it's a little terrifying playing with him sometimes. He's very competitive, which we all are in this room, I can tell you that. Uh, you know, he had mentioned earlier, uh, Scott here, that he likes to play for fun. I don't. <laughs> for fun with family. Okay. Fun with family streams and family streams. I try and kick the butt, but, you know. Competition. <laughs> Um, I've designated myself to be first player. Oh, and unless, clockwise. unless anyone has any objections to that. Okay. Duly noted. Okay. Sustained. Sustained. All right. Let's go ahead and take my first action. I'm going to be white, and the white player is going to uh, move to the spice warehouse. I am going to drop off my assistant there, and then I'm going to charge up my spice to full. This concludes my turn. Thank you. I will... I feel the need to do some gambling. A rambling gambling, man. Uh, let's say... Seven. Nice! Get it. So he's just going to go ahead and grab seven money from the supply. Uh, when anyone goes to the tea house, they call out a number, and if they roll that number or over it, they get the number that they call. If they roll lower than it, they will always get two. And you were leaving a person to work in the in there too. Of course, yes. he's got to do all the. Uh, he's got to pick up my uh, winnings. And you don't leave anybody behind on in route. You only leave it where you land. Only when you land. Yes. I'm going to do the same as you. I'm going to go. I'm going to do a little gamble. And okay, since nice. he already has a merchant there, you have to pay to enter his space. you got to pay him two. two. What? Yeah. And that's Sideway Robbery. Oh, I'm not going to back. I'm not going <laughs> to pay two to, loo to lose too much risk. No, you're, you'll break even. You get two no matter what. Now, uh, let, me, um, let, me, let me tell you something that you could do a little workaround. You can go to the police station and send your criminal cousin there, and your criminal cousin won't have to pay. True. Ah, I'm gonna do that. Right. Can I leave somebody working in the police station? You will be leaving someone to work in the police station. Does that give benefit? Uh, the benefit is you're sending your criminal cousin. This is how you're interacting. So your criminal cousin's gonna go here, okay. but he's just gonna do the same thing. Dice nope. Am I supposed to use a little dice? You you have your own dice. Ew. Ew. I'll, oh I'll use the little uh, dice. I'm gonna go with, I'll since I'm at four, and I'd like to get to 12, that would give me the first gem, right? So you can call eight if so you'd like. I need to call an eight, because I want to get the first gem, so I'm going to call an eight. Okay. And I don't get it. Failure, so you will get two. That's the uh, consolation prize. And then it comes so, right back to me. See how fast see, this game is? I should have said the criminal will do a non-criminal job. I am going to go to the small mosque. I am carrying two green resources. I pay one, and then I get the green advantage which is the warehouse advantage. This concludes my talk. How, how are you carrying two green? I had two green because oh, I went to the spice, spice warehouse. Market. Whenever okay. you go to the warehouse, you always right. go to full. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. All right. So I believe I will go to the spice warehouse as well. Fill up one green. And that'll conclude my turn. Wonderful. I'm going to go to the fabric warehouse. And I'm going to max up my red so it goes up to two. All the way to fall. Okay. Is there an inherent benefit to green, red, yellow, or blue that is better or, or anything than in the other colors? Only it's what, just where that it's spent. Only where the market demand is. Like for here in the small market. Having two of the yellow would probably be more better since you can get more money out of that. As opposed to, say, only having filling up on the green or the red. I am going to go to the post office. I'm going to get one green. I'm going to get one yellow. I'm going to get two money. You can get as many of them as you want as long as there are some in there. It's, it's what's here. 
and then I hit the light switch on my way out. And then I have the ability to interact with the corrupt governor. But I am going to choose not to interact with the corrupt governor. I want my money. I fly out. I, the, obviously, the, uh, what you call it, the post office, what's shown is what you get. So you will always get that. So now you'll get, instead of a green, you'll get a red uh, uh, fabric. Okay. I am going to pick up my thing. Snitch on uh, Yellow's criminal cousin. What? Yeah. For and two money. Hey, when you, whenever you snitch, you get three mm -hmm. money or a card. I'll take that three uh, money. Uh, and I'm going to call another. Countering crime does pay. And this I'm going to call out another six. Your best place to roll is in that area. Oh. By the way. Just missed it. No dice. So you got no. Those are still dice. five. So you're down two. Or you made only flip two. this table right here. All right, I'm gonna move from heat from the fabric warehouse to the great mosque. Drop off a person. I'm gonna drop off a person. Yes. And in here, I can pay two, right, yeah. to get two the, of these. The demand is here. This is what okay. they need. Yellow. Not money. Oh, this is pay two money to recall oh, a person. This is not the mosque that I can go to. Then. So what There's you want to do? Yeah, what I'll you want to do is you want to go to mosque. here. You want to go to the small mosque. mosque. No, I'm not here. I have an assistant there. The assistant is not the merchant. Okay. So you're gonna you have That's two right. red. You're going to pay one red, right. and you're going to get this advantage. Which is the gambler's advantage. Explain what the advantage is. The gambler's advantage is that when you go to a gambling location, there are two gambling locations. There is the tea house, and as you can see here, it shares the symbol. Yeah. And also the black market. When you go to that location, you could either turn one of your results to four or re-roll. Just once. Okay. Okay. Nice. Indeed. My turn. Your turn. And I'm going to think for a moment because thinking is not illegal yet. And I am going to move to... This is where it's slow. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm going to go to the police station. I am then going to get my criminal cousin, and I am going to send my criminal cousin to <laughs> the tea house. Seven. That gambling really brings a lot of crime. Cool. Eleven. So that means I gain seven. As predicted, this concludes my turn. Thank you. I'm going to go to the gemstone dealer and strike first blood for the first gem. Nice! So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's yoink. That first gem there. Very nice. And he says blood because they are blood rubies. I have a question. If I go to the tea house, you can snitch yeah, on him. And I snitch on him. Is that the whole turn snitching? No, yeah. snitching is just something can you, you do automatically. Two, please. And I'm going to go there. Give the guy. I'm going to snitch on him. You get the three. The and three or a card. You can get a card if you so choose. Oh. You I can still gamble, though. Yes, oh, yeah. of course. I'll take the card. We have uh, the rules up right there. Can you see what that means? Yeah. Nobody can look at the rolls. Oh, 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 it'd be a shame if someone uh, stole the rolls. Okay. I just sneezed on camera. So, Does that mean I lose my soul? Use your yeah, it's gone. Nice. It's gone. Don't worry, you won't miss it. So I need. I need seven, so I'm going to call seven. Hey, nice. nice. And then it's back on me. Um, yep. I think I really only have one recourse, and that is to visit the fountain and recall all of my assistants. 
you have to leave somebody behind everywhere you go. Correct. Or you're picking them up. Or Which is what I did here right. the first time. This concludes my turn. Thank you. Quite the pickle. Hmm. I don't have a lot. It's not the most optimal turn at the moment. Well, that's good. I, it's good for you, not for me. <laughs> so I'll go here, and I will spend one green for two money on the small market. Okay. Okay. So and this, I believe, it refreshes the uh, new flop after I take my turn here. Right, you just cycle it behind me. Oh, that's what I needed. Right there, this is the one to eat all that, uh, all that spice. Mm, delicious. Can I pick him up and take him with me? Uh, I believe it's only where you land, so if you were, say, wanted to go back to the small moss. So is he allowed to go here directly, or do I need to bring someone with me? You need to bring someone, so you need probably need so to yeah, go back you and make recall a everybody. You need to make a foul run. And I don't get any See, else nice, mind. clean, quick game. Turns are very, very short. Unless, of course, you're me and you have to think. How many gems do you need to win? Five to trigger endgame. And then if there's, endgame. if there's a... We go to the end of the round, and if there's a tie, money is the tiebreaker. <clears throat> and so, and, but someone can also surpass you in that turn. To just win outright. That's correct. Um, I'm going to go to the police station. At the police station, I'm going to send my criminal cousin to the Wainwright. I'm going to spend seven dollar dues to upgrade my cart. This concludes my turn. Thank you. Mm. I will go to the Wainwright as well and snitch on White's criminal cousin for three dollar dues. Oh my gosh, he stole my heart. And then I will spend my newly gotten uh, Crime Stoppers money. <laughs> you you actually want your cousins to be snitched on so you can bail them out of the police station again and then use them again. Right. Or you can. Maybe you put a new one back in there. Yes, of course. That's why we have them in the supply. Yeah. Did you just say splay? Supply. Spy. Clean out the corn, clean the corn out of your ears. And that concludes my turn. Where else would I put my corn? I'm going to go to That's quite the question. tea house. There will be a person behind. Do a little gambling. Use a little cash. You seem pretty uh, flush there to me. Um, but I need. I can only go two, so I decided I'm going to make a little money on my way to somewhere else. Fair so enough. I'm going to call a seven. Eight. So I get Go. Your ill gotten gain, sir. It's not ill gotten. It's not like it's an opiate house or something. This is a legitimate business. It's a legitimate business. <laughs> it's already back on me. This game is breakneck. Which I like. Gotta go fast. I am gonna go to the fabric warehouse and I'm going to charge up on my fabric. Bringing me to full. This concludes my turn. Thank you. Remember, if you if you stop where the governor or the smuggler is, you always have the ability to interact with them as well. I am going to El Fantano. And that concludes my turn. I am going to go to the gemstone dealer for thirteen. Correct. Yes, correct. Thirteen. I'm going to buy the next gem. Now, as you notice, every gem that gets bought drives the price up of the next gem. So, Kyle go. paid twelve for his. I paid thirteen for mine. The next one is fourteen. The next one fifteen, and on and on. So, the invisible hand of the free market at work. And it's already back to me again. So, I'm going to move my white stack to the small mosque. I'm going to purchase the gambler's advantage by paying one red. 
and I'm flashing three to get this, I now have both pilgrimages from the small mosque, which will get me my first gem. All right. So I will go here to the police station, use my criminal cousin to go to the black market. I will get a red, uh, and I'm going to uh, Scott, where did you say was the uh, opportune place to roll the dice here? Just here? Right over in that corner is the best place because you can actually see the dice. Okay. So I'm going to hope for uh, big money. You're going to get it probably. Uh, no, I do not. So no, that. you get two. Uh, Correct. No. Yes. No. Oh, wait, he didn't gamble. No. Oh, you didn't What's gamble. Oh, I see. And unfortunately, I don't have enough money to uh, entreat with the uh, smuggler. Ah, uh, okay. How much you pay to entreat with the smuggler? Two. Two. And what does he give you? Oh, uh, you you either give him a good to receive a good. So, so it's like a trade. Swap. Actually, no. Or yeah, you pay two money to receive a good. I'll do that. I'll uh, swap out a green for a uh, blue. Okay. And uh, now, since this is the first time we've done the uh, one of the uh, special VIPs, we roll to see where he goes as he is finished. So he goes to seven. He cannot go to seven. That's okay. the fountain. Four. Four. And four is? Uh, the fruit. Fruit, fruit warehouse. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the way right. And I'm going to use my card to get two of those things, correct? Uh, For you, seven? You can... Do it twice, but you still need the resources to do it twice. Ah, I'll, hold it. I'll get my one resource, so I have seven coin. Okay. So we'll go ahead and give him a card extension. Which, what this does, it allows me to hold one extra gem of each color in the row. So as it goes, you need to be able to hold more and more as it gets more expensive. And then it's, and it's, it's already back on me. It is. We need like arabesque music. I was gonna say, what we need is we need glyphs. Yeah, I was gonna say we need glyphs music. Um, I am going to call eight. Just go twelve. Go twelve. I'm gonna call. I'm go gonna big call. Or go home. Kyle, the bully. <laughs> I'm gonna call. Ten. Oh. Alright, that's already. Okay. So close. So that's six. Mm -hmm. And I have the gambler's advantage, which means I can turn one die into a four. So, into a four. so I get ten. Yep. Mm. Alright. I'm gonna go to the black market. I cannot snitch on my own criminal cousin as much as I would like to. So I will do. But there is a card for that. There is a card for that. And I will roll for big money. You know, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, I get one. Oh, sorry, four, five, six, no. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a question. Coming to the Caravanserai is where you get new cards, correct? That's oh, correct. And what do you have to pay to get the cards? So you don't have to pay nothing. anything. Is it worth doing? Yeah. Oh, the Caravanserai? Absolutely. So I'm going to go to the Caravanserai. Drop, drop him off. Yeah. So you're going to take the top two cards, because there's nothing there in the discard right now. So you're going to take these top two cards, Keep and you already have a card in your hand, right? What's the limit in the hand? There's no yeah. hand size limit. But you have to discard one card. Yeah. But it can be any card from your hand, including this one. I have to find some of these things sometimes. I'll get faster at finding them as I move. Well, there's something not on the board. What's not on the board? A little. I think he's tea. Teapot. Yeah. Okay. What does that do for I'm you? I'm sorry. That's from an expansion. I uh, I guess I forgot to uh, okay. pull those out. I was gonna say. I think I noticed like a coffee. Uh -huh. Look at this shoddy uh, worksmanship. No, I'm no, it's not. Card. It's not entirely shoddy. It's just. Uh, it's just slip shot. 
So I'm returning this card to the Caravanserai. It is now available as one of the two options right now. And it's now your turn. Oh boy. <laughs> I am the A-lister. All right. When I played football, I was Tempest. Oh, were you? I was. It's a good nickname. It is. Somebody didn't hear my real name correctly, and it just stuck. Um, this is Istanbul that we're playing. Someone is asking what game this is. Istanbul, which is... I'm going to go to the fountain and recall all of my assistants. A Fast and Furious... Well, it can be. Game of... It's pretty fast, even when someone's thinking... I mean... It's not illegal yet. 20 seconds is not that big of a deal. Everyone it complains. Minutes and minutes. Everyone yeah, we'll complains. Give, uh, could you uh, place me on my assistant? Because I load up on the fruit. And I will uh, have a uh, encounter with the uh, smuggler. Smuggler. Oh. As I go down a fruit to get me another blue. So, once again. What are you rolling for? To where the smuggler goes. Oh. So yeah, because every time you five, have an seven. encounter. Okay, re-rolls. So that's a uh, fountain. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It goes to the large market. Can you put, right. team, put Why him? Why would it go there? Because I rolled a ten. What direction does it go? Oh, it goes to wherever you roll the number on the die. So Is there a number? Oh, I yes, there's right a number there. on. Oh, yep. okay. I got it. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't notice the numbers there before. That's fine. Well, yes, the locations have numbers, and they are... Uh, the associated with the die roll. The smuggler and the governor cannot go to the fountain. So everywhere else is fair game that you can roll. I am going to that you cannot roll. Go fountain side and recollect all of my my staff. Get them right back where they need to be. Bueno, your bueno. turn. To buy gems from here, you have to pay one of everything to buy one gem. Right, and then, and pull, then pull a gem off of that, and then it becomes more expensive. Yeah, Got it. just like just like the gemstone dealer. And how do you get these gems? Completing Same. your pilgrimage. Same as the uh, small mosque. You gotta get both or big ones. Where is the? What is the pilgrimage? These are the pilgrimage shops. So basically, uh, you pay you pay the resource there, and then you uh, get that that uh, what you call it thingy. Thank you. That's the technical term. I was about to say it. That's the technical, technical term. term. The, um, also known as a thing with jig. The jigger. So, for instance, for this, all you millennials, this means you have to have two blue and five coins. No, no. You, you have to have two. Coin. You have to two have two blue, blue and, and then you one. pay one, and then you get this, which is an and this, assistant. And this is an extra assistant. Uh, oh, a fifth assistant. I see. Yes. But that doesn't complete your quest. No, you, you need to get both at the bottom. Them. You mm -hmm. gotta get yellow and a blue. Yes, correct. Okay. And I did your turn. So my turn, yes. Thank you for getting clarification. Thank you, Kyle. Always happy to be of assistance. Is that sarcasm? No. Yes, maybe. Maybe. Alright, I am gonna go to the postal office. Um, I'm going to charge up on one red, one yellow, two dollar dues. Hit that light switch on my way out, and then ask myself, do I want to have a meeting with the corrupt governor? And I am thinking... How much does it cost to be? Yes, them? yes I do. It either costs a card that you already have, or two dollar dues. And I am going to... And you get to draw, by the way, to decide. So I'm going to pull this card. I see that it's something that I want, so I will pay two dollar dues to keep this card. Some, bribe, some major league bribery going on here. Alright, I'm going to go to the Great Mosque and pay... I have two blue, I pay one. Please give put a uh, extra assistant underneath my, uh, my middle manager. Right, and when you get the extra assistant, it goes underneath your stack immediately. Okay. So he's available nice. for use. It's your turn. I'm going to go to the tea house. I'll use the little ones. Oh, they're rolling nice for me, so I'll stick with the little ones. So I'm going to call a 10. There you go. Good money. 
Oof. So before it's done, hold on. Uh -huh. I'm going to change one to a four, and I'm going to change one to a six. Nice. And get a ten. Nice. Yes. That's a primo. That was the most expensive way of doing that. Hey man, if you so as you so spend the card go away. Right? As you spend the cards, you put them on top of the caravan, so you go away. Like, no, you that's those. a that's an advantage you always have. Oh, nice. Because sir. you have them blessed. Awesome. Okay, so that's my turn. Okay. So um, take my stack off one guy. Sure. That was awfully expensive, but well done. Well done. Better to have the plan than not, and need and use it than not need it at all. I considered going for twelve, but I think no, no guarantee that I can roll a two or <laughs> three. And I did. Brutal. They don't think it'd be that way, but it do. All right, I am going to visit the police station. I'm going to send my criminal cousin to the Wainwright. I am going to pop this advantage card, being able to visit the Wainwright twice, and I'm going to pay fourteen dollar dues, exact change, to get two cart upgrades. Wow. And that is going to complete my cart, which is also going to get me my second gem. While he's out, I will go back to the black market, pick up my assistant. I will get another yellow and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, baby. So that means I get three, three but I can only carry two. So no, you have three. Oh, well, I had one before. Oh, so, but, and now it's your turn, Scott. Okay. I'm going to I think he's not illegal yet, so I need a moment. Doesn't say in the rules. Can I see them? No. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Spice Warehouse. That's not my green. It goes all the way all up. All the way, way, right? There you go. As much as you have space on your card. Right? That's your turn. Okay. okay. I am going to go to the Fruit Warehouse, and I'm going to fill up my fruit. To full. This concludes my turn. Thank you. I am going to go to the Sultan's Palace and pay one gem, one red, one green. Oh, I don't have the green. No. Oh, I was gonna. Damn. That's what I should have done. I forgot about. I meant to do the uh, what you call it when I did the uh, black market. I meant to uh, fill up on the green and not the yellow. So what you're gonna do now? You can stay there and do it, right? Uh, no, I can't stay there. That's fine. You're allowed to stay in a place. You there. cannot stay in place. There is a card that allows yeah, you to do it. Ones. Yeah, that's fine. Got it. But you must move. I'll just go to the small mosque and uh, do the yellow. Goes out of turn a little bit, and I collect my thing, and I completed my great pilgrimage. Very nice. So it's a little out of order, but I can fix it. Let this be a lesson, the kids. Warehouse. Let this be a lesson, kids. Pay attention to your board. Your turn. You don't want to happen. What happened happen to me happened to you. Pay attention to your board. I'm going to cast Black Market. I'm going to get one good of my choice. I'm going to choose green. And then I'm going to roll for the opportunity to get blue. That is a total of five, but I will turn that one into a four, which will then give me just one. Better than nothing. I think you're forgetting. And something. then I get to snitch on Green's criminal cousin, and I will choose a card. Uh, I like it. I shall keep it. Your turn. I don't have the opportunity to give it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to do. I will 
go to the police station and bail out my, my idiot cousin. <laughs> Send him back to the black market. I will get that green. And eh, doesn't matter. And that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to go to the small mosque. I'm going to get the three green. Are you picking this guy up? I'm picking up. Leave it. Yeah, leave it. No, oh, you're leaving there. Okay. I get. I pay my three green to get the other card, and I've come, I fulfill my. You don't card. pay three green. You have three. Oh, green, I have three green, and then you I pay, pay one. one. Ah, you're right. So I go down one. But that completes my pilgrimage and gives me the gemstone. Yes. There you go. Get this on me. And I am going to flail around aimlessly. I call that life. <laughs> I'm going to spend my card to recall an assistant. I would like to recall this one. I'm then going to go to the small market. I'm going to pay one, two, three green, one red, and one yellow to get Twenty dollar dues. Nice. This concludes my turn. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will go to the large market. I will spend. One, two blues, one pineapple for a three for a total of twelve. Actually, you know what? I'll take one, keep that one pineapple for a total of seven. Five, six, seven. And I will. Do I want to do anything with the with the smuggler? No, I'll leave the smuggler in this. So, I'm going to go to the fountain and collect all my people back. That's it. Something interesting about this game is when you're out of assistance, it kind of feels like you're at the end of your, your choke and collar. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm also going to go to the fountain. Uh, the fountain is also the one space that's neutral ground, so even if there's already a merchant there, you don't have to pay the merchant money for entering the space. I will go to the Sultan's Palace, pay one blue, one red, one green. And one yellow for my other next ruby. Very nice. Oh. I'm going to go to the food warehouse. Drop a guy off. Charge up yellow, no encounters. Yep. Back to me. Um, Kyle, quit yelling at me. I'm just trying to think <laughs> my about doing my turn. <laughs> my psychic. There's my no psychic, reason to scream. My psychic screams are penetrating my feeble defenses. This happens every time we play together. You're not helping. <laughs> I know. It's great, ain't it? I'm going to go to the caravansary. I'm going to take two cards off the top, and then I become caravan leader. I have to pick a card. Um, ouchie, ouchie. I will take this card. 
No, I will take this card and I will discard this card. This concludes my turn. I will go one, two to the Wainwright. Snitch on White's criminal cousin for. No, yeah, I want a card. Uh, and I will pay my seven, five, six, seven for a new card piece. Not the last card piece, but a new card piece. And that will conclude my turn. I'm going to go to the black market. And I'm going to... You get a good. Right. The only one that you can get is green. It's the only one that you have room for. Yeah. So you're good. And then you roll for the opportunity. Yeah. I'm probably going to roll a 12. Oh, eight. An 8. So, so you'll get yeah. one blue. Unless you want to manipulate your dice, because this is a place where you yeah, can do it. I'm going to. So you can make that a 10 if you'd like. Yeah. And that's going to give you two blue. It's two blue, so I roll two. And that's it. Uh, no. You no. get to snitch on Green's Criminal Cousin. Oh, yes. So then you'll right. either get a card or three money. I will take the three money this time. No, I won't. I'll take this card. You can't take that card. Oh, only the caravan leader. Only the caravan leader. Only right, using the card. caravan space will allow you to take the ones that are discarded uh, there. Okay. If you take a card via the corrupt governor or snitching, it's got to be a face down one. Hmm. Okay. Now it's your turn. Yes. Well, we're young. Okay. <laughs> Big brain move. I am going to go to the, Back to the police station. And then the police station is going to allow me to bail out my criminal cousin. I am still caravan leader. So I will take this card. And I will take this card. Your two cards. My two cards, because I am still caravan leader. And that's it. Your turn. One, two. I'm going to say... I'll say seven. Nope. So two for me. And it's your turn, Scott. I'm going to go to the Sultan's Palace. I'm going to pay one of everything and an extra one of yellow to get the next gemstone. Voice. The small mosque advantage here, the one where you pay two, is that everyone is that everyone uh, get everyone back or no? Or is it just one? Oh, uh, just one. You can pay two to get one back. Okay. I think our next game is going to be Village after this. Okay. I believe it's your turn. It's me? It's you. It's me. It's you. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Who went last? Oh, you did. Because you got the I took thing. this. Yeah, so right. It is your turn. Did anything, so yes, it's your turn. Still my turn? It's your turn. Conversation. Come on, man. Time, time is gemstones. Time is, time is indeed gemstones. Um, I am going to first cast Recall. I'm going to recall this guy. And then I'm going to move here to the small market. I'm going to sell... A red and two yellow. I have no green, so that means I've sold three items for a total of nine. So I'm going to grab this five and then four more. This concludes my turn. Thank you. I think <coughs> I have a question. If I move to a space where I have a, someone already working, do I have to leave another person? No, you pick them up. I'll pick them up. That's what I've been doing for the past couple of turns. I'm going to go to the fruit warehouse. Hey, hello, hello. Pick up my person. Hello, I haven't taken my turn yet. 
I'll let you go on your turn instead. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a real, real, uh, <laughs> real stand-up guy of you. Christmas spirit, Christmas season, flowing right through all of us. Ah, uh, you're heading to the fountain. I am. I have unfortunately now been forced to the fountain. Yeah. I will go to the fruit warehouse, max on my yellow, and it's now your turn. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it. I appreciate you letting me take my turn. I am going to go to the gemstone dealer. I, I'm going to pay 14? 14. 14 to get that next gem, please. Are one. these usable more than once per turn? No. Okay. You can only do them once. <laughs> so what do I want here? Mm, that's the question. Mm -hmm. I will I will go to the post office. I will get one red. Uh, one yellow and three money. Three. Uh, flip the white switch. And do I want the governor? Do I want the governor? Uh, do I get to see what the card is first to decide? Yes, yes, you do. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'll sw swap this out. Discard it. And I will use this immediately to give myself five months. Nice! So what does it send your chrome? That, that allows that's, you to snitch on That's the card that lets you snitch on your own cousin. Yes. Uh, okay. I have just taken and used for the five months. Okay. I'm going to go to the Great Mosque. I'm going to pay three yellow. Are you dropping someone off there or picking them up? No. Oh, dropping off. Right. So I'm get, paying pay, three yellow. You pay one yellow. You pay one yellow. Sorry, I pay one yellow. You're right. Well, I have to have three, and I did have three. There you go. So that gives me this one. Yes. And this one allows me to for two money an extra person. Two no, money. it allows you to recall an assistant anywhere on the board for two money. The extra assistant is the next uh, one. Uh, three five. The assistant board. five. Okay, got it. Okay. I'm going to go to the tea house. Cash out. Do you have any reservations? Only about the buffet. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing the math in my head. <laughs> He's counting cards here. Throw them out. What's the point of counting cards? There's always 52 cards in the deck. Exactly. Not if you add in the uh, reverse Uno card, then it becomes 53. What kind of poker do you play? The worst and best kind. Just let me think for a second. By all means. I'm going to call nine. Nine. <laughs> so that's a four. Doesn't quite do it. So I'm going to do a total reroll. Yes, that is the uh, other thing. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Give me two, please. <laughs> Here's your uh, consolation prize. The house usually wins in this. No, actually, the house usually doesn't, but it does sometimes win. Cousin goes to the wine right. I pay my seven. Five. Five, six, seven for my next cart piece, and that gets me my next gem. Now, if I if I go from here to here, I can use this person. Yeah, you're picking him up. Yep. Right. That's what I've been, like I said, that's what I was I'm doing. Picking, up, picking him up, and I'm still do the job. Right. Still do the job. I'm getting a I can't get a blue, so I'll get a... You roll for the blue. Yeah. I'll get a... 
Yeah. Oh, green. No, I'm going to get a, yeah. a red. A red. I'm going to roll. That's what I get. So that's a seven. I'm going to change the three to a. Oh, it won't make a difference. So I'm going to get one. Unless you do a total reroll. Unless, yeah, I'll do a total reroll. Ten. Nice. nice. So I get two. So you'll get two. Done. Okay. All right. I'm going to hopscotch back to the gemstone dealer. I'm going to pay fifteen dollar dues to get this gem. This concludes my turn. Thank you. I'm gonna go to the fabric warehouse and load up on all the fabric. Drape myself. We're taking all the silk. Drape myself in luxurious silks and velvets. You're probably very class. You're probably getting suede. Suede. <laughs> suede. Suede is the mahogany of fabrics. So, I don't have to leave him, right? And then I go over here and I pick him up, correct? Yes. I'm going to pay my three. Ooh. I'm going to pay one, but pay I have one. the three. Get this, and that completes that quest. It gets me the next gem. Right, and it will also give you your... My next guy. Your my new next assistant. Guy. Yes. And then it's already back on me. Um, in coming back to me, I am going to go to the small market. I am going to pay two yellow and one blue, and that's three goods. That's going to be nine dollar reduce. So I am going to pay back one and grab this ten. This concludes my turn. Thank you. I'll go to the uh, small mosque. I have. All the fabric, but I play one, which will get me this. That concludes my turn. Can I go here? With You're picking him up. You're picking up that guy, yeah. And I will You don't, you don't pay a red. You receive. Oh. So give yourself your red that that red back. It's you receive oh. one of the three basic goods. Oh, then I'll get. A Just green. go ahead and get green. Yeah. yeah. And I rolled a seven. Oh, that was a, was a four and a three. Always is. Which is one. One, which is what I need. So that puts me to my max. Okay. okay. Um, I'm gonna go to the gemstone dealer. I have just enough. I've just triggered endgame. You're at six? I'm at five. Oh, you're at five. Oh. That's okay, because I think you I got think this. I, I think you I think you're I can, I think you're gonna win this one. Because you got a lot of money. I do. And I'm gonna get another gem. Too far to get there and stop me. Oh, yes, I can. And it goes by when you don't have any more cousins, and that cousin assistance left, right? Hello. Mm -hmm. It goes by when you don't have any when you don't have any more assistance left, or is it just one at last turn? I triggered endgame because I have yes. five gems. Yes. yes, and I have one assistant left, so that means I have one thing left. But if I somehow magically got another assistant, would that mean that I can continue, or is it just that one turn? Just one turn. Okay. Hmm. Not really, so much I can do. I'll go. One, two. Fabric. Three money. Sorry. Yeah, three money. One blue, and that's it. I will have an encounter with the governor. Two. Three. Sorry, two. 
to. The governor never leaves the post office, does he? He's always there. No, no, he does. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah. Anytime someone Seven. interacts with somebody, they roll for his position. Yeah. Twelve. Oh. Uh, no. Police station. That's oh, where the corrupt governor belongs. Oh. Put him in there with the rest of the rest of the criminals, shall we? Mental gen. Mm-hmm. And that's my turn. Okay. I'm going to move to the Sultan's Palace. Right. I'm going to pay a blue, a red, a yellow, a green. Any other color? Another color. Red and another a blue. blue. Actually, a, yeah. A yellow. So I get yellow over here easy. And a blue. Buy another gem. Mm -hmm. And that ties you. But. That is end game, and in tying, you have the most money. Yeah, you win. Yeah, nice. See, nice, oh, short, simple. Yeah, I like it, and it's a fast game. Yeah, I think it might be worth do it, doing one more. You want to play again? I you, think we have enough time to do another one. Yeah, sure. And sure. I think Keith wanted to play too. Yes, yes, he did. You want to see if he wants to play this, or do we want to move on to the next game? Um. This is a really cool game. I like how fast it is. Definitely one that I can bring. My family would love to play. And it's competitive enough. There's some things that are very interesting. I didn't really get to use the smuggler or the or the corrupt official, which are corrupt corrupt diplomat. Next game, I'll do those. It was interesting though how when I was looking at the and you were loading these up, I was thinking that's a lot of money to get gemstones that don't seem to really that you're not really forced to get them. You know, it's very interesting. Like you both loaded these up. And I kept thinking you, you had to lose at least one turn or two turns to do it. Boy, I hate going back to the fountain, by the way. It's maddening. <laughs> Especially when you're way over on this side. Like, uh. But I think it's interesting. There's, there's a lot of ways to make this work. Why do you choose to load up your, your Wainwright? Is it, in a game as short as five gems, is it really generally worth it? Oh, when you're visiting the market, it gives you a lot of flexibility. If, visiting the markets because the demands that are on the market change. So if you just have a lot of goods, whatever the next right. tile that comes up you get can help you. Plus it it is right. a, it is once you fill it up, it is a gem. So it is still a viable way to get a gem. Uh, mm -hmm. It's probably shouldn't be the first one you aim for, but yeah. It's usually the first one that I aim for after the easier to get mosque pilgrimage gems. But, but then by definition it isn't the first one, is it? Yeah. It, I'm saying one or the other. I'm just saying it's not. It, there's viable strategies going either way, but so uh, why didn't you complete both the pilgrimages? Did they not? Were they not necessarily within the strategy of what you're doing, or they just you weren't close enough to fulfill them within a reasonable number of turns? I, I was. Yeah, I wasn't close enough. Yeah. I mean, this one I got pretty quickly because I think we all got that one yeah. first because it's right. It, you can get there in two. This one it takes two turns to get to. Right. Right. Cool. This is this is a lot more difficult to get, but. If you notice the red and the green, they're both right here. Right. That's why I kept yeah. holding yellow. I kept, like, I don't want to spend yellow. But once I was out here, I spent yellow every time when I needed to because I knew I could reload. Right. While I, and basically, by loading up all my people here, I felt this gives me a strategy to keep going doo -doo 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 -doo, to buy things without having to go to the fountain and lose turns. Yeah. Yeah. The, this is very interesting. This is a really cool game. I think there's a lot more strategy that we haven't exploited yet. <laughs> Uh, the the game becomes a little bit more cramped when you have more players because oh, when there's yeah. more players, um, yeah, you pay to go everywhere. Though. You're going to be more likely to be places. rubbing yeah. shoulders more often. Yes. Yeah, for sure. The the expansions are also interesting. The coffee expansion. Yeah, what does the coffee expansion do for it? Uh, it adds a fifth resource to the game. It adds coffee. Um, and does it add more cards? I assume it has some of these blocks. It yeah, yeah. It'll it'll add it'll add a, a few different uh, of these places. It also adds the fun uh, asking your cinnamon. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it adds the fun element of asking your criminal cousins, criminal friends, to basically <laughs> you can block off areas so uh, you can actually prevent people from doing things. right. Oh, and then you right. get a token that says that you can jump over this thing. So it's literally uh, put the crowd the street, crowd the street there, and like sorry, wall. nobody can pass. It, it adds another criminal element to the game. It adds the coffee smuggler. Okay. Uh, it adds coffee itself. And the fun little mini game where you must stack the coffee on the camel. Yes, if you have uh, if you have the camel, you've got to stack your coffee on it. 
That's cool. Yeah. That that is uh, mandatory. It is right. Yes. Even if it isn't mandatory, it's mandatory. It is mandatory with us. All right. Well, I I like this game. I think it's a lot of fun. I think I would definitely I'll definitely buy this game now and I'll I'll play it. It's very. I buy a lot of games, by the way. You should buy a lot of games too from the Adventure Game Store, Dragon's Lair. Um, Indeed. It's, isn't it a sort of, isn't it right now some sort of holiday s- season where there are many uh, gift-giving holidays going on? It, is that now? I think that's now. Do you know for sure if that's the case? Kwanzaa? I agree that Kwanzaa, way. yes. Kwan- Festivus. Yes, Festivus for that's the, the one. <laughs> there we go. I challenge right. you to a test of strength. No, no, we need to, uh, air, the airing of grievances first. But I've nothing, I have nothing bad to say about you, Kyle! Oh, I've got a list here. Hold on. So what's our next game we're going to play? Oh, uh, I think we're probably going to be tackling Village. Village, right. Village, yeah, which is another fine so, German economic game. So we're going to play Village. We're going to take a little break. We're going to quit this stream, and then we're going to start another stream up. So you'll see the invite in a few minutes. Um, we'll get that set up, give everybody a, a biology break if they need one. I don't need one, but, you know, we gotta, we have another person who wants to come in and play. So Maybe two. Or two. So the games begin to move bigger. And as we go through the day, we're going to work our way to more and more complicated games. I don't know, is Kemet more complicated than Wingspan, or is it the other way? Uh, Wingspan is very, very light. Uh, I think so, too. Kemet is, is, it's not complicated, it's just vicious. And more time consuming, I assume. Yeah, it's definitely longer than Wingspan, for sure. Yeah, things slow down real quick. Despite being a fast-paced game, it is also a slow game because when the chips are down, that's when things, people start thinking. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to quit the stream. We'll come back in a few minutes. We'll start a new one up, so make sure you join in. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye.